Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Blade HQ exclusive Boker Plus Kalashnikov Wiener Warrior Edition. So obviously this is more of a funny and gag knife, and it's not supposed to be taken too seriously. For those of you who don't know, Blade HQ is famous for their Dessert Warrior Edition knives. Uh, I have one of them right here. Uh, it's basically a knife that's donut themed, and about a year or two ago, they made an April Fool's joke on their site called their Warrior Buffet that included the Dessert Warrior Knife as well as a bunch of other food themes, Boker Kalashnikovs. And one of them was the Wiener Warrior and this year they decided to make that a reality and I managed to grab one of the Wiener Warriors at Blade Show West a few weeks ago. I mean this knife just makes you smile when you look at it. I mean it's very silly and just fun to hold and use. It's meant to obviously imitate a hot dog. The handles are made out of aluminum and they're in that nice light tan color to mimic a hot dog bun and then the blade itself is made out of d2 steel which is a rock solid steel and it has a blunted tip to better mimic the shape of a wiener you got some nice mustard on top of it and what's even funnier is that the wiener warriors are actually numbered uh, i don't know if the camera can pick it up that well but i got number 2162 i'm not too sure how big the batch is or if there will be even more wiener warriors made but i think it's cool that they they serialize them. The Boker Kalashnikov is a pretty rock solid automatic knife. It's made in Taiwan and pretty much all of the standard versions retail for under $100 which is pretty good for an automatic. The button is red. You also get red screws to mimic that of a hot dog and then you get a really long deep carry clip which is a signature of the automatic Kalashnikovs. The action definitely isn't as good as Protec, Microtec, or Benchmade in terms of the automatics but I'd say it's it's pretty solid for a sub $100 automatic knife and uh, just for fun let's do a size comparison up against some of my favorite EDC knives here it is up against the Benchmade Bugout and the Benchmade Mini Bugout as you can see the Kalashnikov is bigger than the regular Bugout here it is up against the Civivi Elementum of course I have the Dessert Warrior Edition the full-size Kalashnikov is a lot bigger than the Elementum and lastly here it is up against the Chris Reeve Large Sabenja 31 the Large Sabenja is a bit bigger than the Kalashnikov. And then of course, here's my Dessert Warrior Edition Mini Kalashnikov. The size difference between the Mini and full-size Kalashnikov is actually pretty significant. I actually have never owned a full-size Kalashnikov until I got my hands on the Wiener Warrior. I only had uh, this Mini Dessert Warrior Kalashnikov, and I gotta say, the size difference is pretty significant. As I said earlier, this knife isn't really made to be taken seriously. It's more of a fun uh, gag knife to own in your collection. And while it's definitely not the most practical knife, it always makes me smile when I see it in my collection, and it's fun to fling out the wiener with the press of a button. If Blade HQ and Boker restocks these, I definitely recommend you get them. Unfortunately, right now, they are sold out. They sold out on the day of their online release, and hopefully they make more Wiener Warriors. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are Team Wiener Warrior or Team Dessert Warrior. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. If you really love the review, please consider leaving a super thanks in the tip jar below, and thanks for watching.